question. Louis Delorier writes, in my humble opinion, Star Wars or Fury Road should win the Oscar for Best Picture. Here are my reasons why. The best film of any given year should be one that is universally enjoyed by critics and the public. The best film of the year should make a lot of money. It should be a film that people want to watch over and over again. It should be a film that is difficult to make. It is a film that you will always remember no matter how many years have passed since you first saw it. Both Star Wars and Fury Road met all of these expectations. J.J. and Miller had the added pressure of meeting intense fan expectations. I feel that there are few directors who could have done what J.J. did with The Force Awakens and maybe no other directors who could have accomplished the impossible like Miller did. On top of all this, I'm tired of seeing movies that make very little money with the Oscar. If the movies are so great, then why do most people like me have no desire in seeing them? Okay, so Lewis, while I grew, like Fury Road, Mad Max Fury Road for me is my favorite movie of this past year. Star Wars, I loved it. It's, I think, in my top 10 as well. Right. However, I have to disagree with you with pretty much everything you said. We, let, let's start with <laughs> the film of any given year should be one that is universally enjoyed by critics and public. Well, actually, if you look at most of the movies that do win the Oscars, they are, maybe they're not huge box office successes, but they're usually liked by both the critics and the public of, of, of who sees right. it. Um, best film of the year should make a lot of money. Money never equals quality. We always reference, you know, Transformers makes a ton of money. That does not mean make it, you know, it's not gonna win the win an Oscar for right. best picture. Um, oh, this one especially, uh, it should be a film that people wanna watch over and over again. See, I have a problem with that because some of my favorite movies of all time, like let, let's say something like Darren Aronofsky's The Wrestler. I think it's a brilliant film. I do not want to watch that movie over and over and over again. It's a depressing and sad movie, but so I don't think that that makes qualifies into to making an Oscar best picture. Like I can watch something like I don't know Mean Girls over and over again, and I love Mean Girls, but it's not going to be my favorite movie of all time. So I, I don't think that works. Um, a film should be difficult to make. Who determines that? You know. Uh, a film that you're going to remember no matter how many years you first saw it like but you're voting every year so how do you know which movies are going to stick with right. you you're just guessing at that point point. what's your take clark yeah i mean i do agree with some of the things that you just said um and i agree with what lewis's sentiment is i think the the real thing that maybe he's getting at is the fact that you know the oscars are out of touch and i we talked about this a little last time i was on movie talk but i think it bears repeating especially as the oscar race heats up you know it's not about casting flashy hosts. It's about nominating movies that are good and that people see. That's going to get people interested and excited in the Oscars. And, you know, um, so so on that respect, you know, I could see Fury Road. Fury Road, I think, should be nominated. And I want that to happen, and I hope that it happens. And, you know, I wouldn't be upset if Star Wars was nominated because I think it's a great movie, mm -hmm. but I don't know if it is best picture caliber. So with that being said, you know, um, and also in terms of making money, you know, the thing that we have to remember is that this business, the, the business of the entertainment industry is so screwy. I mean, it's it what gets released when and how it gets released and where it gets released and who sees it. That's why we have cult movies, which are movies that came along way back when that find their audience eventually because their release got messed up or it wasn't a widespread appeal, um, the, the content of the film wasn't so I just think that it's it's very very hard to discuss like what should be the best picture of the year right. especially when you know the types of movies that Oscar often smiles at I think that it, look one of the other things you have to realize is that some of these movies that get nominated the smaller movies the studios don't give them the big financial pushes as well too so a movie like look at room Mm -hmm. as right. well too this is a phenomenal really great film that and and it, that movie does stick with you for a while it sticks with you a very long time but it's not one you're going to watch over and over and over again so I do think that movies that like a Star Wars or a Mad Max should get more recognition from the Academy and it shouldn't just be the smaller films and the biopics and stuff yeah. of that nature too but you shouldn't discount the great work and the great it, it's dramatic flair that a lot of these movies do it, it's a mix you got to have a mix of the both but you shouldn't just pass one off because it's too dramatic or you don't want to see it I mean it, it, 
but the, the same aspect that they, if something comes out more like an ex machina should be getting a lot more praise than it does because genre films have a lot harder of a time in the academy and i think i think the system should change in general but i i tend to agree with, with what you're saying dennis as opposed to you know how you choose the movies well yeah i mean let's throw it to to sports right like if two teams are competing let's say for the super bowl you're not taking the two teams are the most popular in the league that right. would get the most ratings and have them go against each other you do it by which is the best team and so that's how i feel about movies is like you, you i mean it's obviously hard and it's always opinion based and it's hard to say okay this movie is better than that movie but that's what we're doing with the oscars right with any awards people are trying to vote on what they think is the best and so i i feel like box office should have nothing to do with it. I mean, I, if, if a movie opens in 300 theaters mm -hmm. versus 3,000, it, it shouldn't affect how a movie should be voted on. Right. That's like a best performance, right? Like if someone gives the best performance, well, he, he did it in a smaller movie. So that doesn't count. Right. I, yeah, I, I'm just thinking actually about The Hangover. I know that sounds really, really <laughs> <Yeah>. weird, <laughs> but because I'm always thinking about The Hangover, yeah. actually. But uh, but no, I was thinking about how, you know, that year I, it won the Golden Globe for best comedy. Mm -hmm. And uh, it should have because The Hangover is a great movie. I, I would argue up and down that I think that is a great movie comedy i think it works i think it's funny i think it's smart i think it's clever and i think the performances are good you know that movie was a, a comedy phenomenon that year and i really would have liked to have seen it nominated for an oscar whether or not best picture okay maybe not but definitely something for the writing definitely you know you look at something like downey's performance in tropic thunder that got right. nominated mm -hmm. or melissa mccarthy getting nominated for bridesmaids same with Kristen wig and her writing partner like those are movies that i think absolutely absolutely should have been in the mix and I would like to see more of those in the mix and I think hopefully or maybe that's sort of what Lewis is sort of talking about I like, uh, to, I like uh, to add some shit piles as well too like there should, <laughs> be, there should be there should be a list that was like not just the Razzies they should take that away and put one like you should be embarrassed and they should have like a little the anti-Oscars yeah. or something yeah. like no, just this put one, the no, worst one, movie of the year one category in there during the Oscars like look last year you got nominated because you had a good performance but this year you should be embarrassed this is what you made this year <laughs> Just like uh, shame them, they like pull them up yeah, on stage. The, the the chipmunks, those filthy little <laughs> shit rats, should come up there, and they should and they should have to do a speech and go, "We're an embarrassment to life." Okay, yeah. <laughs> I, 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 I'm with you on that. They they, they should do that. <laughs> hey guys, if you like this clip, click here to watch the entire episode. Also, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel because it'll help you stay up to date with all the stuff we've got going on here at Collider.